Welcome back fourth grade. Today we are going to get started on our vases of flowers inspired by Heather Goller. So we'll get to use some of the patterns that we got to practice with last week. So all you need for this week is a piece of paper. This is watercolor paper at school since we'll be painting on it if you're at home and have thicker paper that would work well. I also have a pencil eraser and a Sharpie, although we will get to the Sharpie in a couple minutes. So we wanna start by drying off the vase and of course the flowers. So if you're not sure where to get started, I'm going to start in the lower half of my paper in order to draw the vase first. Now, in order to make it look like the vase has an opening, I'm going to start with a long oval, just like that. And that will be where the different stems for the flowers come out of. Now the shape of the vase is up to you. Personally, I think I am going to do one that looks like this, but you can do one that is rounded and curved instead if you would like to. If you also want to add something fun, like maybe handles, you're more than welcome to do that as well. All right, and then we want to get started on the actual flowers. Now, Heather Goller, when she's doing her artwork, starts off with some pretty simple shapes. So what I'm going to have you do first is draw a couple different circles in this area. We'll worry about the stems in just a moment. All right, so I have gone ahead and drawn in some of my circles. These are going to become my flowers. Now you can probably see right here, I drew over part of the oval, that's the opening of our vase, and that's okay. Things overlapping is really normal. I'm just going to erase that line that I don't need anymore. You might have that come up a couple times when we're creating this drawing. All right, so what we want to do now is turn each of these circles into a flower. So that might involve you doing a couple different things. Maybe in this one, in order to look like the different seed pods that some flowers have, maybe in this one you just draw some circles. That would be a pattern, which is definitely something that Heather, Heather Goller excuse me, uses in her artwork. Maybe in another one, we decide to draw a smaller flower or a smaller circle. And we can do a couple different layers of things that look like petals. That's another way that you can do it too. Or perhaps on the outside of a circle, you want to draw some petals. And then you can keep creating some different circles and patterns on the inside as well. So go ahead and fill in and decorate the rest of what you have. All right, so now that I've decorated each of the flowers with a pattern, you might want to fill in a little bit more of your space. So for some of us, that might mean that we draw some smaller flowers in here. Don't get too small since we're going to be painting these with watercolor. You might want to draw some stems in, or you might also want to draw some leaves in in order to help fill up the space as well. All right, so now that our vases are filled up, you might want to add a couple more little details. All right, so we probably want to have our vase look like it's sitting on a table or on a counter. So behind our vase, we're just going to draw a line, a line on either side. So that way we have the wall and we have the table. You're also more than welcome to put a pattern on to the surface if you'd like to, and you can also decorate your vase. So after you have drawn everything in, you're going to switch out your pencil for a Sharpie. And we want to outline the outside of some of our flowers. We're going to be able to add Sharpie today and some crayon next week. So just pay attention to what I add some Sharpie to because you'll want to save some of your lines for color next week. 